Texas Hill Country, going for a nice little walk. Oh, excuse me. Who do you think you are? Where are your manners? What did your mother teach you about approaching young women out in the hill country by themselves? Shame on you! Go back home! Shame, shame, shame! Kids today, I'm telling you. What's up guys? So I am back here at Encompass Health in Round Rock, Texas off of Hester's Crossing. And I'm doing yet, yes, another Texas Chainsaw Massacre Quick Hill Road video. I don't know, I can't promise you when I'm gonna stop doing these. I live less than two miles from this location, so I kind of find myself going back, revisiting TCM 74. I just got back from the cult classic convention in Bastrop this past weekend and I met some of the cast. I'm still kind of reeling from that. But um, I, I, I'm back in another TCM uh, rabbit hole and I, I want to go back. There's some shots. I've covered this place, I don't know, a good handful of times in previous videos that you can go back to the channel and watch. But um, I there's, there's a shot. I'll, I'll throw it in I'll throw the clip in here right now. See this shot here where LF is coming in from the left side of the frame when he starts to wield his chainsaw. You can clearly see the road is like the dip is pretty major. It's like a pretty low dip and then it kind of goes up. And that's, that's, um, and Sally's making her, when she's making her escape with the driver, you can see the truck there going down and then the road comes back up I just came from across the street as you've seen in the other videos you have to park across the street and cross the street like I did this is Hester's Crossing and this is the entry to the Hill Road I usually hop over there but I'm actually gonna Mary and I came she found this all you had to do is look on this side and it's a much easier way to get in it's uh the barbed wire is here, but you just literally straddle over much easier so um, anyway we're gonna make our way back up and I'm gonna try to match or I'm gonna go higher so what, what I'm what I'm rambling about is uh, I watched a couple of older YouTube videos go even going back to watching the 1998 footage that um, is still up on YouTube then I watched Sean Clark's video, um, Horrors, ho ho what is it, Horrors Hollowed Grounds um, channel. He put a video up, not, uh, I want to say, actually I don't know when it was uploaded, but the footage is from like 06, 07. And you can see, you can see Quick Hill Road from that, that time, which was really eye-opening for me because you get to see how much more overgrown it was up the hill way more than it is today. So fast forward, Adam the Woo's video from 2012, not as overgrown, but still grown. Okay, so there's a post in the show, in the shot, in the movie, I'll show it here in this clip, that you can see Perry Lorenz is the actor, so we'll just refer to him as Perry. Perry the driver is rolling up the road and he U-turns and you can see that post. That post was still there, well, in the 2007, video Sean's video it was there um, in Adam's video the metal barred gates along the driveway were still there so that was a, an indicator that the, um, this was the driveway today there's nothing absolutely nothing to like refer, use as a reference that this was here you know the driveways here this is where LF fell but Adam did his video you can clearly see that he got it right where, where Leatherface fell down, cut his leg, because, you know what, 
I'm gonna talk more about that when I get to that area. Right now it's a little confusing because I'm not really showing you much. All right, here we are approaching where pretty much all of this went down. So what, what I've learned by watching Sean Clark's video from 07 and Adam the Woo's video from 2012 is all of this has been cleared. Back then in both of their videos, this was all grown. And it kind of makes sense now that I look at it. They probably cleared it for the cows. Now this stuff will grow in in the summer. I do not recommend coming here in the summer. It's, it's totally, it, well for one, it's hot. It's overgrown, lots of bugs and their possibility of snakes. I don't know, I've never seen any, but uh, yeah. This would have been like woods then. So uh, long story, I'll try to make this short. This is definitely the driveway. LF falls, he gets hit by the truck driver actually over here because the, the, the wrench comes this way, hits him and he falls right here because in that screenshot, you can see the curve of the trail going this way. Here's the end of the road. He's on like dirt at the time. Here's the, the, the curve of the trail. It's down low like this and it goes in like that. LF is literally right here. And you can see that part in the frame. All right, so after kind of going back and looking at some screenshots I got from the Sean Clark's video, uh, I have been able to confirm that, you know, we have been right all along. This is the, this is the um, driveway entrance to the house, where the house was. However, everything is a lot further up than we thought. The driveway was to the left of the house. So picture, this is the driveway, it's dirt, right? Go straight ahead. The house is about right here. Well, the, no, I'm sorry, the driveway's here. The house is to the right. So the house is actually closer to where we have to end because of the barbed wire fence. You can imagine the house probably about right here. Um, so imagine this fence not here, right? In the movie, there's a there's a there's a similar fence over there because that's where you could see it when when the hitchhiker and LF are are, are uh, chasing down Sally down this driveway. swing is probably even further to the right. It wouldn't surprise me if the swing is closer to this barbed wire or the barbed wire fences now. The other thing I wanted to add is when LF takes the wrench from the uh, the truck driver, the truck dri driver actually is coming from this way. Because again, all this connected, he would have been coming from, from this way. That action would have happened more over here because he has to have room to throw the wrench, hit LF, who lands right here. I've never actually gone to this extent of finding out where Gunnar Hansen falls and you know, the chainsaw to the leg, but that actually happened right here. Oh! Right there, Leatherface. Taking it to the knee. Well, sorry, taking it to the thigh. Oh! <laughs> right there. That's cool. That's a pretty cool confirmation. So that action would have happened more to the right side. Mr. Edward Gwynn actually met him Sunday, Saturday. Coming through on the truck, throws a wrench at him. All right around here, LF falls. You see, I thought all that actually happened further down. But again, you know, this is all cut off here. But yeah, this is making so much more sense. And we're talking about like five years of me coming to this place. I've, I've covered it in different ways, but I never really like, I just, I see what looks like a driveway. I'm like, that's the driveway. Well, I was accurate about that, but 
where the actual house stood was still kind of a mystery. We thought it was way further back to the left right there, but it's actually going to be shifted more to the right. And that action with, with the truck driver right here, and then this is where Perry, his truck drives up, speeding up, and he U-turns right in front of this pole, which is still standing today, almost 49 years this August. So now we know LF's dance is further up here. For fo photographic reasons, you're not going to to get that beautiful sunset. See how it's blocked by the bush and the, and the trees? I'd say it would have been shot right here within five, 10 feet from where I'm at right now. And of course this was cleared and you can see that golden sunset right there. And now when he did that shot that I was looking for when he comes into frame, this looks so much more like it because he comes in this way He's in frame in the foreground, just like this. And he's starting to spin the, uh, the chainsaw. And of course this is blurred out. Let me get, let me go into cinematic mode and see if I can achieve that. Boom. This is much more like you see in the movie. I'm running low on light, so I'm starting to see noise in my, my video. But check that out. Definitely would have been shot right here See if I'll focus on my finger. Well, this means I gotta come back another day and get these shots, but there it is. There's the dip down, and then it goes back up. Wow, that's it. It's so confusing to, to, to try to explain, but I used to think all that action happened down here and that LF's dance was closer down there. But we were only doing that for photography reasons because we can't get the sun up here where the actual scene was filmed. We were getting it over there because it's more, it's open and we can get that beautiful sun. That's actually where I recreated my my uh, LF chainsaw dance, which again is in the channel if you wanna search my Texas, all my Texas Chainsaw Massacre videos. <laughs> anyway. It actually happened right here. Oh, there you go. That's pretty nice. There you go. Leatherface. There's a driveway. Leatherface. Right here. Okay, the only reference in 49 years that's still standing today is, per quote, Perry's pole. But that's where you turn. So we know that happens right here. So that's how I started, you know, kind of piecing where everything happened more up here now obviously i'm excited about this because for me this is a relatively new discovery or it's at least a confirmation for me adam the woo confirmed all this in his 2012 video but at the time it looked way different it was more helpful he had a lot more references back then than you do in 2022 even in 2017 when i was here for the first time so 2017 2018 i didn't realize perry's poll was still here but i never thought to match that up with where the truck turns around but in adam's video you you still had the the metal bar gates there so i mean it was just a, a no-brainer that that was it and you could actually recreate the the shot of sally and the hitchhiker coming out and she goes that way and you know what else happens all right in this area if you ever come out here which if you're going to do it i would do it soon because I don't know how long, much longer this is going to stay up uh, before they completely just develop the entire area. But you're going to come past. I mean, you're just going to come up to the end. You're going to come up to the end. And this is the stage. This is the entire stage. From there to here. The LF doing his dance right here. But I think that's that pretty much sums up everything. Uh, and here's a piece of chainsaw history. I mean, like, if, if you get here soon enough, you can grab you a piece of Quick Hill Road. This is most definitely the original road. And we're talking about six feet or so from where Leatherface laid, Gunnar Hansen laid down himself and cut his 
thigh with an actual working chainsaw. Of course, he had a plate, a piece of steak over it. But he was feeling the heat from that chainsaw right there. And just about, what, maybe six to ten feet to the left. Got some broken Quick Hill Road. And you have no, there's plenty of pieces. So come get one. <laughs> uh, get on a plane if you're a fan and come get one. But again, this video is for my Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans. I know I posted a bunch of different videos for different um, types of movies and whatnot. But uh, I'm just going to add this to the playlist. I might be repeating myself a lot. I might be actually covering what I've already covered in previous videos, but that's okay. It's actually kind of cool to be able to show this area almost annually before it's gone. So here we are, um, the very last day of February 2022 from Round Rock, Texas, Quick Hill Road, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Country. Getting out of here.